And when you do that, what we need to understand is, here is your formula for your cubic. y equals a times x minus h cubed plus k. Since Chaffer was not here last class period, he would probably still recognize, though, this looks very similar to the absolute value we did last class period, as well as the quadratic that we spent a whole chapter going over, right? Yes? There's only three letters, variables, that represent transformations. In this one, we obviously now know that if there's a um, reflection about the y-axis, we could have had a b in front of that, right? But we're just going to kind of hold off. So this one doesn't have any reflection about, this one doesn't have a b. So we're just going to have a, h, and k. OK, remember, a tells you if the graph opens up, opens down, as well as what the um, factor is of stretching or compressing. It says a vertical stretch of 3. So therefore, a is equal to 3. Does that make sense? Then it says it reflects the x-axis. So if we know if it instead, we know that from quadratics, when a was positive, it opened up. When a is negative, it opened down, right? So since it reflects the x-axis, that's negative. We good. OK. The next one, vertical translations 2 down. You either have h or k. Which one of these, from, remember from quadratics, absolute, absolute value, which letter tells you to go up or down? k. 2. Horizontal translation of 2 to the left. Oh, I'm sorry. First of all, you're going 2 down, right? So if you're going down, is that positive or negative? Negative. negative. Very good. OK. h is then has to be your left and right. So it's saying you're going horizontal translation is to left. So should eight, are you going to the left, which is negative, or to the right positive? You're going to the left, right? So you're going two units. So that's negative two. So h is equal to negative two. Now let's input them into the formula. So y equals negative three x minus negative two cubed plus negative two. Do you guys see how I just replaced a with negative 3, just replaced h with negative 2, just replaced k with negative 2? Yes? That's all I did. Now, I would like it to be in simplified form. We wouldn't want to leave it like this. The simplified form minus a negative is the same thing as adding, plus a negative is the same thing as subtracting. So that's what your equa final equation should look like. But it's the same as that. Do you guys kind of see now how, oh, h is negative. You are going to the left. But how it's opposite in that equation? Because that's what the formula is, x minus h. It's the opposite of that form. OK? All right, ladies and gents, we are going to go.